Let's prove that the cube root of 2 is irrational using Fermat's Last Theorem. Fermat's Last Theorem has famously been called the hardest problem in mathematics. It took 358 years to prove, and it made the author of the proof, Andrew Wiles, so famous that Oxford University named their entire maths department after him. The proof is 128 pages long, and while this video will not explain why the theorem is true, it will explore how it can be used as a powerful tool in your mathematical adventures. So what does the theorem say? The statement is actually quite simple. It looks a bit like the Pythagorean theorem, and it basically says that a generalized version where the exponent is 3 or greater cannot exist. Take for example z equals 3. It says that the sum of two cubes can never be another cube, which is a bit crazy if you think about it. After all, there are infinitely many squares that sum to other squares. But can we actually use this complex theorem? Yes. Let's go. Let's quickly show that the cube root of 2 is irrational using Fermat's last theorem. This is equivalent to saying that the cube root of 2 cannot be written as a fraction of two integers, a and b. Let's pretend that we can write the cube root of 2 as a fraction of two integers. And let's see what happens to that equation as we manipulate it. We'll remove the cube root by cubing both sides. Distribute the cube over the fraction. Multiply both sides by b cubed, moving it over. And then just split the two into b cubed plus b cubed. Now you can see that we have an equation on the form where we can apply Fermat's last theorem. According to Fermat's last theorem, we can see that a and b cannot be integers, contradicting our initial assumption. Thus, the cube root of 2 cannot be written as a fraction of two integers, and so the cube root of 2 must be irrational. There you go. Thank you for watching.